Hi YouTubers, um, I'm just about getting ready to start my routine for the day. I've got all showered and makeup on and all that kind of thing. So before I start, I thought I'd do a quick vlog and talk to you guys about my decision to ex do extended breastfeeding with Madison. So sorry, she's always yelling like this. Uh -oh. Anyway, um, I've decided to do extended breastfeeding with Madison, and I'm going to, my goal is two years, and if we go past two years, then two years. that's great. So, um, oh. with Denny, I did 13 months, and I did, I cut her off cold turkey, which is terrible, and looking back, I feel so bad, I wish I wouldn't have done that, but... I, I wish I would have just continued breastfeeding for at least another year. Looking back at her pictures when she was 13 months, I keep thinking, oh my gosh, she was such a little tiny baby. Why would I cut her off so soon? Um, and I feel bad about that, but I'm <clears throat> proud of the fact that I got to 13 months because in the family I grew up in, in the area I grew up in, breastfeeding is not so common and it's not done for very long um, mm. usually around six seven months uh, my mom breastfed us for like four months and all, like us as in all of their kid the kids um, and then we went to formula her problem though was that she didn't have a lot of milk so that was the issue with her and um, so you know everybody has their thing and everybody has reasons why they do or do not breastfeed, um, and that's fine. Everybody makes their own decisions, and it's a great thing. But oh. I, I've, I've decided that the extending uh, breast, extended breastfeeding is the answer for our family, oh. and um, I, just because of from what I've read, all of the the great benefits of of that, and. Um, have the feelings I had last time when I when I stopped breastfeeding Denny, just all of that together makes me d make made up my decision to do extended breastfeeding with Madison. Um, we a lot of there's a lot of controversy right now, especially with like really extended breastfeeding, like uh, four years old and things like that. And um, in my opinion. If the mom feels that it's good for the child and if the child is fine, there's really research shows that there's no reason why you should stop breastfeeding at that age. That there's actually a a um, a new article out, and I think it's called the Scientific Today or something like that mm. magazine, and the title is called "Out of the Mouth of the Babe." Out of the mouth of babe or something like that. And um, you can look it up. It's Just type in out of the mouth of babes and uh, scientifics America or something like that. Anyway, they did research on the weaning age, the actual weaning age of humans. And um, they took into account all, like, uh, primates and they took... they looked at, uh, like, countries that, or tribes that have been cut off from the world and they're just kind of their own little self. They're not influenced by uh, cultural differences like Americans and things like that. So they came up with, I think they said 2.7 years to 3.4 years or something to um, wean. That's the weaning age the average weaning age of humans in the world. And um, in, in the United States, it's six months. So that's a huge difference. And and so when I look at that, the big picture, not just American view, but the big picture, I realize that, you know, this is normal. This is, this is what humans are around the world are doing and it's totally fine and everybody is okay. I mean, it's not like the end of the world is coming because you breastfeed your kid until they're three. So, um, yeah, I've decided that this is what we're going to do and I'm 
happy about my decision and excited for the journey. So uh, leave your comments below what you guys think about extended breastfeeding and um, just, uh, yeah, if you want to make a video too, go ahead and, and post a video response. Let me know your opinions or what you guys are doing and I will talk to you guys later. Oh, I just wanted to mention that in no way am I bashing mothers who do not breastfeed. I think all mothers are wonderful. They all love their children very much, and they all do what's best for their family. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.